Hi there, my name is Dixon Wong. I am an award-winning and multilingual tutor at the profs, having graduated from the LSE. I specialize in subject tutoring in economics, maths, and Mandarin for GCSE and A-levels, as well as 11+, plus, 13+, plus, 16+, plus ISEB, and CAP4 entrance exams for the most competitive UK independent and grammar school admissions. Students that I've tutored have gained entry to or are currently studying in top UK schools such as King's School Wimbledon, St. Paul's, Dulwich College, Wickham Abbey, Cheltenham Ladies, etc. And in some of the best UK universities like Oxford, Cambridge, LSE, UCL, King's College London, etc. 97% of my A-level students achieve at least a grade B or higher, with 72% achieving A-stars and A's. And I boast a 100% success rate when it comes to my GCSE students achieving at least a grade 6. So today, I'll be sharing with you five top tips that will help you study smarter and get that A or A star that I know is well within your reach. So listen well, and let's get started. Tip number one, master the basics. The A-level maths course is a combination of three areas of maths, pure, statistics, and mechanics. It builds on top of the GCSE maths, particularly on the core branch, but at a much deeper level. Here's a question. Would you ever build a house on sand? No. And that is what trying to study A-level maths without an understanding of the basic topics like algebra, calculus, trigonometry is like. With this trio that forms a solid foundation, it will be much easier to manage more complex topics within the syllabus. So go back, review the GCSE level topics, especially algebra, which underpins much of the A-level maths course. Concepts like manipulating equations, understanding functions, and solving simultaneous equations, etc., should be second nature by now. Take differentiation and integration, for example. If you're not confident with manipulating algebraic expressions, then how are you going to apply these calculus concepts effectively? So if need be, please spend extra time on areas where you're weak to ensure fluency on algebraic manipulation. So remember, having a firm grip on these basics will set the groundwork for success, especially when you encounter multi-step problems in the exam that combine different areas of maths. Tip number two, understand, not memorize. One of the biggest mistakes that I see every year is students trying to memorize formulas or steps without truly understanding why and how they use them. Look, this technique may have worked at GCSE level for simpler questions, but this ain't gonna cut it at A-level maths, where questions are now more complex and concepts are much more sophisticated, both in terms of breadth and depth. Take time to understand what you are doing and why you're doing it. For example, when you study differentiation, instead of memorizing that the derivative of x to the power of n is nx to the power of n minus one, make sure you understand how differentiation actually works and what differentiating an equation actually help us accomplish, which is to find the gradient of any point on a curve. This will allow you to tackle questions where they are sometimes presented in unfamiliar ways during exams, which is where the A's and A star math students excel. The choice of an effective learning strategy couldn't be more clear. Do you want to just choose and memorize and cram just to risk forgetting under time pressure? Or do we learn and understand in order to apply and adapt on exam day? Tip number three, learn from your mistakes. Mistakes are inevitable in life and in maths, but they are also one of the most valuable learning tools. Every time you get a question wrong, there's a lesson to be learned there. So look back at each mistake that you made in homework, in practice questions, note why you made that mistake and re-attend it, or similar questions until you're able to solve them like water off a duck's back. Look, at the beginning, you may find yourself making plenty of mistakes and that's okay. It might even take you more time than usual to do these essential corrections. But I promise you, over time, you will make less and less mistake and you will take less and less time to correct them and gradually recognize these common pitfalls, which is important because then in the exam, you will avoid them where it truly matters. So embrace these mistakes for their opportunities for learning and development by reviewing, revising, and relearning from your errors early 
you ensure that you don't repeat the same mistakes where it truly counts and thereby significantly improve your performance and ultimately your grade. Tip number four, use calculator shortcuts. Many A-level math exam now allow the use of a specific calculators like the Casio series. So make sure you're familiar with every function that these calculators offer. The exams may require you to perform complex calculations like performing the binomial distributions, um, differentiating equations or matrix operations, etc. These are not fancy extras. These are time savers. Knowing shortcuts on your calculator allows you to complete these tasks quickly and efficiently. This is crucial given the time limits in the exam where every minute counts. Additionally, using calculator shortcuts will reduce the risk of human error, especially in the error-prone operations like finding logarithms, solving trigonometric equations, or working with large data set, etc. By using these shortcuts, you can be confident that the calculator is performing the correct operation, leading to a much more accurate answers. Of course, even in some questions require handwritten steps, using the calculator shortcuts can help you check and verify your answers quickly so that you know that your manually derived solutions are indeed correct. Tip number five, practice, practice, practice. Practice is where all your hard work gels together. You wouldn't expect a footballer to play in a cup final without practice prior to match day, would you? So why would you expect students taking their final math exam to be any different? Look, maths is an acquired skill. And like any skill, the more you practice, the better you become. Understanding a concept at the first instance isn't enough. You need to apply that knowledge through regular practice to ensure that it sticks. Do exam style questions frequently will help you familiarize with the exam format and allows you to see how examiners phrase questions. And on topics that you find more difficult, aim to complete more questions than usual. If you use your textbook as a primary source for questions, focus more on the latter questions on each exercise, as well as the review exercise at the end of each chapter. The more you practice, the more your brain will recognize patterns, which will help you respond quickly and accurately in the exam. So, practice different types of questions, practice them in time conditions, and practice with past papers. Doing so consistently over time is what separates the A-star students from the rest. So to summarize, my top five tips to get an A star and A in A-level maths are master the basics, understand, not memorize, learn from your mistake, use calculator shortcut, and practice, practice, practice. Excellence in A-level maths is not about innate talent, it's about strategy, about persistent and working smart. By following these five tips, you're setting yourself up for academic success. The earlier you can implement these tips, the more confident and prepared you will be when exam time comes around. Remember, the extra mile is never too crowded. If you found this video to be useful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel where we'll give tutees like you the insider knowledge you need to get ahead in school and helping you get the best grades possible. Together, we will help you thrive to reach your academic goals. If you'd like to improve your mass performance, please don't hesitate in getting in touch with me or with our team of professionals. The contact information is on your screen right now. I'm Dixon Wong from The Profs. Thank you for watching, and I wish you the very best of luck with your studies.